Johnny Depp, I just want to say thank you so much for bringing domestic abuse uh, into the public eye. Um, I just want to thank you so much. <clears throat> so many people are going through it, um, have been through it. Um, and it's, it's amazing that someone like you stepped up and brought it into the public eye. Um, just about the abuse, mental, physical. It's, you're giving a voice to people. Um, you've given a voice to me. I've tried so many years to prove um, domestic abuse has happened to me. And in some cases I've been able to prove it. In other cases, there's just not enough evidence there, unfortunately, because um, it happened through childhood. <coughs> Hearsay, as you well know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so it's it's just I just want to say thank you. Um, I can't thank you enough for for coming forward and speaking your truth um, and giving a voice to to everybody else that's going through the same sort of thing, male or female. You know, it, domestic domestic abuse. It, it doesn't pick sides. It's it could happen to any man or any woman, um, any child any adult um, it, it needs to be stopped um, and people like Amber need to be exposed for who they really are um, it, it's, it's, it makes it difficult for people that have gone through abuse um, to get heard in the courts for starters um, my abuse cases is growing up and they didn't even go to court because it just wasn't the evidence there. Um, uh, certain evidence was uh, denied, um, thanks to my gran. Um, yes, a little photograph of, of me and my uncle Stephen in the same bed, you know. Um, we used to play mummies and daddies, push two single beds together and, and there we go. You, you know, I'll let your, your mind run wild with, with what happened. Um, it's... Uh, <laughs> It was just one of those things of growing up that I thought was natural. <clears throat> but yeah, there was a photograph taken of, of me and my uncle in the same bed. Um, and that was my only proof, other than my memories. Um, now, apparently, this photograph never existed, uh, according to my gran. Um, yeah, she, she decided to withhold the evidence. Um, so yeah, there was nothing there to back up my claim. Um, this is what happens with um, narcissistic people. Um, they like to take over. They like to control every single part of your life. Um, and my grandma was very much like that. Um, lying through her teeth. Um, using family members to do her dirty work for her. Um, even now, um, you know, I've, I've tried to help her, I've tried to explain everything about myself, my mental illness. She just laughs at me. She finds it very amusing, you know, but that's part of the narcissistic personality. They will find other people's pain amusing because that's how they get their kicks. Um, that's what they do, unfortunately, whether it's in a family or whether it's, it's a partner, you know, or even friends, you know. Um, once you start noticing the patterns, um, the evil intent be behind certain things. Um, yeah, you, you can start making changes and moving away and, and protecting yourself from these people because you do need protecting mentally. Um, you know, that the physical didn't do me any harm. You know, I got battered and bruised, yeah. And scars heal over, you know, and, and bruises heal. But the mental scars, the mental damage was, was where the impact was for me, um, seriously. Um, devastating to the part, point of suicide. Um, so yeah, Johnny, I want to thank you for, for exposing all this um, in the public eye. I mean, I'm sorry you've gone through so much. It's... Uh, I can understand every single thing that you've gone through. It's, it's it's horrible to have to deal with, and to find the strength to get up and do that and speak up about all these horrible traumas that have happened to you. You're a brave, brave, brave man, and 
much respect. You know, <laughs> you, you're amazing, and thank you so much for standing up and and telling your story. Um, hopefully, um, the world will now see the dangers of <clears throat> toxic behaviour um, through even through childhood to to adulthood. Um, the damage that mental that abuse can do to men your mental state. Um, there's so many problems caused today by people that have been abused um, through their life. I'm not saying they cause the, they're the problem. Like I'm saying that it causes them problems uh, in relationships, in real work, at home life, anything, friendships. It affects every single part of your life, and you can't move forward, and you don't know why. And until you see all these patterns and learn where all all your problems come from, all the, the things that you can't do. Why can't I do this? I used to be able to do that, but now I can't. What was my situation around that time where I couldn't do stuff, you know?